Right, it says we are live. Oh. So, good morning, one and all. Uh, lovely to see you all again. So, uh, well, a formal welcome to those of us who've been nestling away for a few minutes on Zoom. Uh, and uh, very much a, a good morning to anyone looking on on uh, Facebook Live or who may be looking on uh, a little bit later by YouTube. Good morning to you all. I hope you are well. Uh, this is a service of Holy Communion. Um, so if you have bread and wine with you, that's fantastic. Um, we need to move to a little bit of a liturgy as we begin. And as that just becomes queued up on the screen, let's for a moment just keep a moment of silence. Wherever we are, however we are gathering this morning, we meet in the name of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. God is one. And so we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we recognise our relationship with God afresh, we say sorry to him for those things we have knowingly done wrong. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. And the reading is taken from Matthew's Gospel. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire men to work in his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. About the third hour he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, you also go and work in my vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour and did the same thing. About the eleventh hour, he went out and found still others standing around. He asked them, why have you been standing here all day long doing nothing? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, you also go and work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going on to the first. The workers who were hired about the 11th hour came and received, each received a denarius. So when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more, but each one of them also received a denarius. When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. These men who were hired last worked only one hour, they said, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them, friend, I am not being unfair to you. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the man who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the first, the last will be first, and the first will be last. Thank you, Mandy. There's going to be, well, there is, there is a short talk, short reflection on that reading on, on the YouTube channel, very much picking up on the topsy-turvy nature of the kingdom of God, how actually um, it's quite hard work following Jesus. Um, that it can feel like kind of bearing the heat of the day, yet he calls us friends. We are friends uh, with, with God. 
it, everything seems to be a little bit back to front. Um, and, but it's a wonderful thing that God, who has so much power and authority over us, still loves us. And if you want to find out a little bit more about uh, it's my thoughts on that, so there is a reflection on the YouTube channel to do with that. So shall we proclaim wherever we gather from what we believe? We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so we turn to a time of prayer and Mikey is going to lead us in our intercession of this morning. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promise for your Son, Christ Jesus, to hear us when we pray in faith. Thank you that you accept us all the work of the building of the kingdom. Help us to find our place in video and to work hard to heat of the day to show others how much you love us. So we pray for Martin, Will and Ruth, our bishops and all our churches in the service of Christ that those countries of oh, you know, name made are true in truth. Live together in love and live your glory to the world. Love in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for young people making choices as their exam grades become known. We pray they, however they have done, young people will know they are a value and love of who they are created to by you. Bless our Guide Elizabeth of the Queen, give wisdom to all authority, and direct us every nation in ways of justice, of peace. And we may honour one another and seek the community good. And we come in the time of holiday, we pray that all each find the rest and recreation that we need. We pray for the safe of children during school holiday, particularly those who vote for more of the holidays. May place them or more of him. Give grace to all families and friends and all our neighbours that we may serve Christ in one another and love as we love us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for healing and wholesome of all who long to well in body and mind, spirit for those affected by the threat of COVID 19. We pray that the pandemic will quickly draw to her close. We thank for the scientists of us against COVID and we ask that scientists will continue to, do, to be successful in finding vaccination and medicine. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body and mind for it give the courage and hope in their trouble and we bring them the joy of salvation. Mercy for I pray, I pray these prayers for the sake of the Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Mikey. And so we uh, 
share a sign of Christ's peace with one another. Um, by way of introduction, a little bit of liturgy, uh, and then we'll um, open up the channels to say um, to share peace with one another. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with you. And also with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace to anyone looking in on for, uh, Facebook and anyone looking on uh, by YouTube as well. Peace. Peace be with you. And so we come to our time of sharing communion with one another and with the Lord. We're reminded again that the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them saying, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death, and celebrate his rising in glory. Send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal Son of Heaven saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And so we join together with Christians across the world as we pray to our Father in heaven. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. You need to ignore the answer machine as it rings away to itself in the background. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So however you are able this morning, draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed him in your hearts by faith for thanksgiving. 
the body of Christ. blood of Christ. Amen. So we say together, Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So a closing prayer of blessing. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest on you, now and forevermore. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Well, at this point, we do, again, need to say farewell to those who are um, looking in on Facebook. Uh, please do join us again uh, in this way uh, on Sunday morning or do come in person. If you do come in person on Sunday morning for 10.30, then do let me know that your, int your intention of coming so we can just have chairs appropriately. But uh, farewell to those on uh Bye. The live stream and those Bye. on YouTube. Bye. 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 Bye for me. Good to see you all.